Hey everyone, I'm going to walk you through how to get started and possibly finish that multiple me assignment that I've given you. So here's how you do it. First, you have to make sure you take your photos. Um, to do this, you should be using a self timer. You should possibly using, um, make sure your camera is secure and you'll be taking four photos that basically the background doesn't change. So where you're moving, but the, the background is not. So I'm just gonna find my pictures right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. So I took, let's see, open these. Okay, so it's still loading, gotta be patient. Okay, so I have, this picture was an accident, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, I'm just gonna use, so it goes 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm looking at these numbers right here. So I'm gonna say this is my first photo. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go over to photo 15 and I am going to use my move tool and drag it to photo 14. So pretty self-explanatory. If the backgrounds don't move, then it should be super, super easy. I'm looking over here right now and for whatever reason, Photopea gave me a whole bunch of extra layers. So I'm not gonna do that. So what I have are my two, two pictures here. On the picture that I just added, so you never do it to the bottom most layer. You're only gonna do the, to the layer above that but I'm going to add a mask. Okay, so that's that white rectangle with a dark circle in the middle of it. Um, I will grab my brush tool, make sure I have black on top of white. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my hardness all the way down. I'm gonna increase my size to about 117-ish and keep my flow up. Then what I'm going to do is on this one, so I'm actually gonna drop my opacity down a bit there, just so I can see the other, so I can see both photos at the same time, okay? But I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on the mask for this next bit. So everywhere I brush, I'm basically gonna brush over my previous version of myself, okay? So I'm going through, bringing that all in. And I don't have to stay in the lines super well because my camera didn't move. Now, if my camera moved, I would have to stay in the lines a whole lot more. So I'm just gonna kind of go through. Now here's where it gets tricky. Any overlap you might have with your other self, you have to make sure to not overlap. So I have to go through here and I'm gonna have, I might have to make some decisions if I overlap myself. Okay, so I'm going through. Okay, so doing the best I can there. All right, so now I have, if I come back in here and I bring my opacity back up in my layers palette, what I should see are two versions of myself. Now, if there's anything that I can tell that I missed now, I can kind of go back in. Always, always, always make sure you are only painting on your mask. If you start painting anywhere else, you're gonna run into issues. Now, if I start finding places where maybe I erased too much or not enough, um, I can kind of go back in and fix that by just swapping between black and white, okay? So if I come in here and there's like this weird halo around any part of me, right I can switch so I'm switching black to white okay that is one photo so now I'll go to my next one move tool take that one and bring that again to picture file 14 because that's where I started anyway so now I have I have all three of these okay so me just moving along and that's the thing, you have to make sure that every photo you're kind of moving in, but maybe you're moving just enough to kind of get yourself out of the way. So I hope I did that on this one. We'll, we'll find out right now. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to add a mask just like I did before. I'm going to drop my opacity down to about 50. 
just like I did before. And I can see that I am gonna have some overlap. So that's gonna be kind of interesting to see how I wanna do that. But I'll click back on my mask and grab my brush tool. And now I'm gonna paint over the previous two. So before I painted over my previous self, now I'm gonna paint over my previous two selves. So I'm kind of going in, again, painting my, this version of me. Trying to do it quick so the video doesn't get too long. You guys, please go much slower than I am so that way it looks a little bit better. Okay, so I got this and this. Then I will paint in this version of myself as well. Paying very close attention to how I want myself to interact with my other self, okay? So whereas this down here might be okay, I think I want that to stay. My, my feet are probably okay. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna increase my opacity in my layers palette again to kind of see how this worked out for me. So I have to go back to my mask and kind of go in and and just make sure I get everything I want. So I'll work with that version first and then maybe come in here and just figure out how I want this to go. So I kind of lost one of my cells here, which is fine. Looks like there was some more shading down there. Okay. All right, so there's that. So I have one more to go. So again, your move tool is how you will move it. So I'll take that, move it over here, kind of line it up as best I can. It's super important that they're lined up pretty perfectly. I am gonna drop that opacity now. This one looks like it'll be a little bit easier because there's not as much overlap. I'll go ahead and add my mask. As you guys can see, this is repetitive, okay? So here again, Remember my, mat, my brush is already set up, but I'm going to paint in my previous three selves this time, okay? So you're always painting in your previous self, not your current layer, all right? Um, and just working your way through it. Again, take more time than I am because it will look better. If any area doesn't look right, sometimes you might have to go back through these layers to see where the original screw is. I don't have to like stay in the lines for these two anymore because they've already been done. So I can kind of just like get through it quicker. Any, anywhere there's overlap between the current layer, which is this one of myself with my head down, and my old selves, has to, that's where I have to be careful because if I, um, I don't wanna get rid of anything that I, I wanna keep. Okay, so on this one now, again, I can bring the opacity back up and I can see right away that I missed some areas. So I can come in here now and just kind of bring those back pretty easily. And I can see that I have some fuzziness in here. So what I could do, I have a lot of fuzziness. I can come in and kind of clean that up because now I can see things better. But it looks like there's some, there was some mess ups on a previous layer. So if I have to figure out where that's happening, I'll show you how to do that. What you would do is, so like right here, I'm looking at this, so I messed up there, but I can kind of go in and I'll just turn that off for now and see that's where the screw up is, okay? So I can see that there's some areas I didn't quite paint in well. So I can go to that mask now 
and just kind of paint it in a little better. And it looks like there's still more on that one. So I can kind of see all the places I screwed up. So that's the great thing about this is there's no, you can keep checking and checking as you go. So on this one, I can see right there, that's where the hair messed up a little bit. Anyways, that's how you do it. Once it's all said and done, oops, don't do that. Once it's all said and done, you'll turn them all on. You will save them as a JPEG, file save as, or export as, and go to JPEG, and then that would be that. You can get really clever and creative with all of these. See what you are willing to go for. Um, I would I would bet that a lot of people, you know, they want to play with just the different sides of their personality. Um, maybe you take, you know, a photo dressed one way and then you dress another way for the second photo and then you dress a third way for the other photo and you just have yourselves all lined up. Maybe you choose like a wide open space. I'm going to be showing you a lot of different examples to hopefully inspire some creativity in you um, during class. So we'll see uh, what you guys come up with. But um, yeah, this is this is basically the the objective here. Again, let me know if any of you have any questions.